father both played trombone in high school. My mom went to Eastern. The first instrument I tried was a flute. I couldn't blow anything in it, so we tried a trumpet, couldn't buzz. At first I wanted to play uh, a woodwind, but like mom was like, you know, like, I think you would like fit better playing trumpet. We tried clarinet and it actually works. Uh, music is very important to me. It's, it's an everyday thing. Like, I can't live my life without music. Music is my main passion. Like, music is life. <laughs> I like old music. So, I first name is Louis Armstrong. I love Louis Armstrong. And then Trombone Shorty will come afterwards. My name is Troy Andrews, also known as Trombone Shorty. I'm a graduate of Warren Easton High School here in New Orleans. I was very young when that moment of me identifying with music happened. But since I was four, that's the only thing I knew. I only knew how to play. and make sounds or bang on drums, so that, that was just a part of my upbringing. You want to be around people that's positive and, and that can show you that things are possible. Well, there's an unspoken tradition in New Orleans where the, the older musicians pass along the knowledge. Just giving back to the kids, it inspires me. Then when I saw the horns, I was like, we got new horns. You want to take care of the horns? This one, smooth. It really is smooth. It's like Christmas. <laughs> Sometimes musically, when they get new instruments, they feel better, they can take care of everybody. Yeah, hopefully I'm gonna hear y'all play soon. Huh? I thought we were just gonna go in there and like 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 for him like just to jump straight into playing and then he was gonna leave. I didn't actually expect to meet him. But you wanna protect your horn and make sure it's good because it's gonna last for a long time and the more you play it it's gonna break in even more, as you know already. He's a big inspiration to me, like Playing. I can't wait to hear y'all play. I have a personal horn, but it's like nothing like this. This is uh, stellar, basically. Just giving them that and having them work extremely hard. And when I come back in a couple of weeks or a couple of months, I can actually hear the growth in their playing. You sound good. How long you been playing? Uh, since the fourth grade. What they don't know sometimes is because they don't know all the music yet or the right terminology is that they're actually using their imagination, which they actually teach me sometimes. And I think music will help the kids, even if they don't continue it later on in life, it would help them in other areas of life to be disciplined, to be serious, to know what it is to work hard, to be able to get to the next level. We've been most inspired by people that have been through adversity and somehow they find a way to choose optimism. Yeah, well, you know, the type of person I am, uh, I take the good and bad equally. If you're able to just understand that this is a moment, just like when you're smiling, sometimes you're going to be sad. If you're able to accept that and understand that it's only for this moment, it'll make you an even better person and stronger for whatever you're trying to do. And then when it happens again, you're already that experience in that area. And that, that, that's when we say life is good. Thank you for watching that video. At Life is Good, we believe that what you focus on will grow. We acknowledge that there are obstacles in the world, but we choose to focus on the opportunities. We hope you'll join our Life is Good community and help us spread the power of optimism. To learn more and get involved, come and visit us at lifeisgood.com.